Hey everyone, Caddis here. I'm going to show you a quick video on how I like to install my HD mods into Final Fantasy XI using Ashida's XI Pivot plugin. In order to begin, you're going to first need to be able to download the various files. I've already downloaded mine, and I have them listed right here. If you look below in this video's notes, you'll see direct links to all of these items. First, we need to unzip our files. Let's go ahead and start with All Maps. We're going to right-click, unzip, and extract to All Maps. And then we're going to do the same with each one of these files. Okay, we've unzipped all of our graphic mods. Now, we need to place them in the right location so that XI Pivot can load these into your game. Go back over to your Ashida window and go down to Plugins. In Plugins, we need to create a folder called DATS. So right click, select New, hit Folder. Spell DATS exactly how I have it spelled there. Open that file, and now we're going to create a series of other folders to identify our graphic mods. So for this first one, I'm just going to call it Maps. Now, I'm going to take ROM, ROM2, ROM3, ROM4, and ROM5 and move them over here to our Maps folder. I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to do the same with Ashenbub's HD files. New folder. And I'm going to call it Ashenbub HD. Again, taking the, mod, taking the ROM files and moving them over into the new folder we just created under DATS. I'm going to do the same with these AI upscale packs as well. I'm not going to take reshade right now because I like to do my own reshade profiles. And the reason why I'm doing this in individual files or folders is because if something goes wrong, I can disable just that one mod and see if that was the issue or not. Now, for those of you who don't know, XI View modifies the in game font files as well as the background images you see for menus. Now, this doesn't play very well when loaded into XI Pivot. So instead of using XI Pivot, I'm actually gonna drop these directly into this ROM folder here, overriding the actual game files that I currently have in place. This PDF will show you what you need to do and point to in terms of modifying your DAT files. I recommend reading this very, very closely. It's very easy to completely break things if you misclick on the wrong DAT file. As you can see here, for English, we're going to be targeting the ROM folder, folder 119, DAT 51. Open change text, click on the file path, and let's go to the appropriate directory inside of Final Fantasy XI. So it was ROM folder, folder 119, DAT 51. Hit open. Okay, now we need to scroll down and find the file called font font. There it is. Click this and then select the question mark button. Now, we're going to go back to our Final Fantasy XI directory and go to the location of where we have XI View currently unzipped. For me, it's right over here in this file. And now I need to go down to the other, yes. And then select Death Pointer or Deathbringer fonts. And then you can really pick any of these options. I like going with the dark outlines personally. For me, I'm a big fan of Ubuntu. Hit OK. And we're all done. Our fonts have now been modified. Now I'm going to go ahead and also change my backgrounds. 
I'm going to go ahead and use, there's a tool, I believe, here it is. Run as administrator. And this tool is going to swap out our background files for us automatically. You can do this manually as well, but I'm feeling lazy right now. I like the black and gray gradients, but you could use whatever you see fit. All right, now we need to point it to the correct directory. Once again, we need to target where our Final Fantasy XI install is at. Click on the Final Fantasy XI folder and then hit OK. Hit Next, hit Start, and you're done. OK, so we've now modified our fonts, we've changed our backgrounds, our menu backgrounds, and we have dropped in all of our HD mods into XI Pivot. Now, go ahead and start a Sheeta, click on Plugins, scroll all the way down, and download and install XI Pivot. There's one last thing that we need to do. Go back into a Sheeta, open up default script. At the very top, forward slash load XI Pivot. Go ahead and hit save. Now, go ahead and launch the game. We can see right away that our fonts have taken place. That is not the default game font. You can also see that the background menus have also changed. If you go to config, go down to windows, select shared, go down to window type, you can cycle through the various new backgrounds that we just installed. I like this one. All right, so our text and our backgrounds have been modified. Let's go ahead and load in our HD assets. First, I'm gonna go ahead and change jobs real quick, just so we can see the difference in these armor models. So looking closely right now, you can see this armor set looks a little blurry. Doesn't look bad, but with Ashenbub's HD models, this is really gonna be spruced up. We're gonna go ahead and launch pivot by typing forward slash pivot. Click on DATS. Now, if you can't interact with this, that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and restart our game. Now let's go ahead and load the Pivot UI. All right. You can see down here, these are our available overlays. We have our AI Upscale Pack 1 and 2. We have our Ash and Bub HD models. And then we have our maps. So let's go ahead and load Ash and Bub. AI up upscale one, AI upscale two, and our maps. Now, hit close, and we're gonna restart one last time. And we're back. Wow, look at that. All HD. And there you have it. We now have our maps our AI upscaled one and two packs, which is upscaled versions of, of various zones, and then Ashenbub's HD model and armor pack. Pretty cool. If you have any questions or any concerns about the process, please drop us a message in technical support within the Wings Discord. And as always, we'll see you in game.